You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to another segment of CNA Heroes. My name is Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. In researching and writing these segments, as I've done for over a year now, I'm always intrigued by those CNA heroes who had childhood experiences that shaped their adult lives and helped make them the people they are today. When we think of CNAs, Certified Nursing Assistants, we usually think of elder care. However, CNAs work with all ages across the lifespan. This is one of my sev favorite segments yet. A big thank you to the Seattle Children's Hospital for sharing this story and photos. About 17 years ago, a frail eight-year-old came to Seattle Children's Hospital in Washington State very sick. Milton Wright III was lethargic, in pain, and only weighed as much as his two-year-old sister. It wasn't until arriving at Seattle Children's Hospital that he was diagnosed with acute lymphoblastic leukemia, or ALL. After three and a half years of chemotherapy, Milton and his family believed he was cured. However, sadly, he relapsed at age 15 and again at age 20. Upon his third ALL diagnosis, Milton didn't think he would survive. He had had friends who had lost their battles after their third cancer diagnosis, and he feared there were few treatment options left. However, a clinical trial with a new medication was being initiated, and Milton entered that program. It was immunotherapy, an experimental therapy that reprograms a patient's own immune system to fight the cancer cells. Milton's treatment wasn't an easy one. He spiked a fever, his vital signs diminished, and he developed cardiomyopathy, an enlarged heart caused by years of chemotherapy. He was transferred to the Pediatric Intensive Care Unit, or the PICU, as it's called. Despite his weakened heart, Milton urged the treatment be continued. Within a few days, his condition had improved enough that he was transferred back to the Seattle Children's Cancer Unit. He would go on to have a bone marrow transplant, and he has been cancer-free since. Shortly after he completed treatment, Milton moved to Idaho and began look, looking for work and a sense of direction. He took a job providing care in a nursing home where his employers offered him the opportunity to earn his CNA, or Certified Nursing Assistance License. That's when I began to consider working in the medical field, Milton said. I thought maybe my life was saved so I could save other people like me. Milton did indeed earn a CNA, and he worked for a year at a hospital in Idaho. All the while, he had one goal in mind, to come back and work at Seattle Children's Hospital. CNA criteria differ between Idaho and Washington, so Milton had to take additional classes and register as a CNA in the state of Washington before he could return and seek unemployment. After that, he spent months applying for position at Seattle Children's until he was invited to interview. Milton said, I think one of the oncology nurses saw my application and declared, oh, get him, he's the perfect fit. Milton was hired as a CNA in the Children's PICU in March 2018. Milton fondly remembers the providers who cared for him, but it's clear he was most impacted by the patients he met throughout his cancer journey. I think about them every day, he said. 
When I was first diagnosed, my family lived in the Ronald McDonald House, and I immediately connected with the patients there. I remember watching my mother, he said, hold a crying girl who had a terminal disease and rocking her back and forth. There was nothing else we could do for her. I have so many stories like that. Milton continued, when I'm with a patient, it's all about comforting them. I don't try to tell them my story. I'm just there to lift their spirits. It makes me feel like I'm doing something worthy of my life being saved. Despite enduring years of cancer treatment, Milton is healthy today and planning his future. He's currently in school, working toward a nursing degree. While he emphatically says he doesn't like school, he's determined to expand his education so he can continue caring for others. When asked if he would like to be a nurse at Seattle Children's one day, Milton doesn't hesitate. Yes, to be at the hospital where I was treated and where my life was saved, I can't even count how many times. It's incredible, he said. I never want to leave. What an incredible young man, an awesome CNA. Milton, you are a fantastic human being. Everyone, please join me in celebrating Milton Wright III, CNA hero.